Hi guys. So ordinarily I don't use retinol. I just bought this retinol because at the point I was buying it, I thought that when I'd come to the UK, my tretinoin will finish. Um, for those who are following my content, you know that tretinoin is a more powerful retinoid than retinol. And luckily in Kenya, tretinoin is found over the counter. But in countries where tretinoin is not found over the counter, like in developed countries, the retinoid that they have accessibly is retinol. So they tend to use it most of the times. To be very honest, I never really see the need for Kenyan women to be on retinol, but it's a personal preference. Because you can easily get tretinoin over the counter and it's 150 shillings on a good day. So it's more powerful. It works across hyperpigmentation, wrinkling, acne. Retinol is like 3K. But retinol will work if you have been naive to skincare and you feel like your skin may be sensitive or reactive. Um, so you just want to be gentle with your skin and you can afford it because it can be almost 3K which to me doesn't make sense. So I've never used it. But before I finish this, because I've been using it just to finish it, I thought to, to, to create content on it for those who use it. So the secret with using retinoids is if you've been naive to skincare for some time, when you start using the retinoid, you will likely purge, especially if you have a history of um, acne, being acne prone. If you don't have a history of being acne prone and your skin had a history of being dry, you will likely get something we call retinoid dermatitis. Retinoid dermatitis is like a reaction because you, you're, you're sensitive. So there's a difference between how an acne patch and a retinoid dermatitis look like. And for you to understand that further, you probably have to be a member of my WhatsApp skincare group so that we can discuss that in detail with you during a tutorial. But I'm just letting you know the difference. So how do you avoid both? So my advice always is please buy a good quality retinol. Like you can see, this is Ole. I've shown it in my previous discussions. And this Ole is a retinol. It says retinol 24, probably means that it works 24 hours. On the, on the package, it says that it has niacinamide. So a good quality retinol will have something anti-inflammatory in it. So the niacinamide in it is an anti-inflammatory component to help you, let's say, if you purge or you get retinoid dermatitis so that it can settle that really fast. But just in case you want to be extremely cautious, what I'd advise with retinol is um, you can apply it at night. And when you apply it at night, preferably when you're starting off and you're naive to skincare, I would advise you to get an oil-free moisturizer. So what you do is, you know oil usually will interact with the ingredients in most active, um, active ingredients and then it will make the product less effective. So that's why we usually advocate for using an oil-free moisturizer of any kind. I just had this clean and clears. I bought a lot from AC, but they used to be readily available in Kenya, just that people didn't know about them. Now I think with the pandemic, things just messed up the chain supply, supply chain. So most people are saying that they can find this in Kenya, but there are people who sell this i find it a really affordable oil free moisturizer or you can get any oil free moisturizer or i always say that the alternative is if you cannot get an oil free moisturizer just use a regular pharmacy emollient guys pharmacy emollient is different it's bland it doesn't have active ingredients and i'm tired by the way i'm tired of you guys who are not watching my content not understanding what i mean by bland emollient texting me on my contacts on my instagram bio to ask me about emollients that you can use and it's all in my content on igtv igtv there are some people i am not responding to 
because I know the content is there. There's a difference between a pharmacy emollient and a brand emollient. Brand emollients are like CeraVe and the rest. And if you check the container, they usually have active ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. And sometimes when your skin is not doing very well, you just want something bland. That's why I tell you to buy affordable emollients from the pharmacy. And I've told you what brands to buy in my content. It's there. Just watch. So anyway, what you do immediately when you're from the shower, you put a pea-sized amount on your hand, like let's say at night. So you put a pea-sized amount of the oil-free moisturizer or emollient. You apply on your face and on your neck going down to your decolletage. So follow my content, know what that means. Then you take a pea-sized amount of the retinol and you apply the pea-sized amount on your face, on your neck and on your decolletage. You can add the pea size amount to your hand if you want. If you guys notice that you're applying, applying products and feeling heavy on the face, it's because you're applying too much. Don't apply too little, don't apply too much. Pea size amount. P, like a P. P. Njegere P. Now, in the morning, because you might get an acne patch, just apply benzoyl peroxide the way you guys, I've shown you guys. Either you can apply it with an emollient as a sandwich or you can apply with an oil-free moisturizer as a sandwich. It will help you reduce any inflammation, be it dermatitis, be it acne purge, it will help reduce that. Now, for me, I have found it um, optimum to use um, retinoids paired with an AHA. Because um, with time, you find that, okay, in Kenya, like, I'm trying to find somebody who sells tretinoin 1% cheaply. I've seen you guys sell, buying generic brands of tretinoin 1% at um, 2,000 Kenya shillings. And I'm like, why? This is a product made in India, which is supposed to be about 200 bob. It's being sold to you for 2,000. Aki Kenyans mkona pesa kai. Okay, wish e pesa ni woman na spend on skincare. I wish mgeza kuni patia. Anyway, let me bring my glycolic acid. Allah, I had glycolic acid. <laughs> Let me just check for it again. Okay. So, I've already applied my oil-free moisturizer and my retinol. Now, the thing with glycolic acid is I usually give you guys the percentage. Like, mine is 10%. Like, for you to get an adequate response with over-the-counter skincare, you should get the right percentage. So, I usually recommend you get a glycolic 10%. 10% preferably if you want to get a proper over-the-counter glycolic acid effect. And I've talked a lot about what chemical pills do in my series, in my Kenyan Instagram skincare series. Just go to my Instagram and you will find the details of how to watch my IGT free content. Now, when you're pairing the retinol with an uh, with an AHA, ideally I usually say first start small. So you start the retinol and the benzoyl peroxide only for at least 12 weeks so that you get your skin tolerated to the change. Then when it tolerates to the change, you add a glycolic acid. Now most of you, what the, the problem that you make when you're starting skincare, you use too many things together. And also when you're using too many things together, you don't paste that skin so it just flares up at the same time so you're giving this skin time to get used to the new regimen so now when you reach the 12th week what you will be doing is you use retinol one night you use glycolic acid another night you still continue with the benzoyl peroxide in the morning with sunscreen and you continue like that you continue like that you can even do that for life only only you don't need to add other things even just in life in skincare as a woman as long as you have a retinoid, a sunscreen, an emollient, and a gentle cleanser, you do not need anything else. Unless you have a dermatologic condition. Okay, guys, you don't need anything else. No matter what anybody tells you, you don't. Because all you're doing is repairing sun damage, protecting from the sun, and moisturizing. You've done what's important. So you can even do this for life. 
I just wanted to share that with you because I think I know some people are on retinol, but I would advise you to upgrade to tretinoin if you want affordable skincare and my content is there.